Attorney General Sessions ordering a review of the Obama-era consent decrees that place federal oversight over a number of police departments. The Department of Justice announcing Sessions will actively develop strategies to support the thousands of law enforcement agencies and officers all across the country. Our next guest says the Justice Department should have limited authority over local law enforcement. And joining us tonight, senior legal fellow at the Mies Center for Legal and Judicial Studies at the Heritage Foundation, Hans von Spakovsky. Great to have you with us, Hans. Uh, well, thanks. I, I mean, it is so nice to see Attorney General Jeff Sessions uh, say, you know, we're going to conduct a review here and lift some of these crazy decrees and and what amount to effective takeovers by the federal government of local law enforcement. Oh, look, I have to agree. This is long over, overdue. What everyone has to understand is that the Obama administration, particularly the people inside the Justice Department, were actively hostile to law enforcement all over the country. I can tell you because I know the lawyers who worked inside the office in charge of these kind of investigations, they hate law enforcement. Not only that, but not a single one of those lawyers had actually had any experience in law enforcement. Pardon, and they you're, ta you're talking to somebody in our audience. They've heard these stories and these reports yeah. and these uh, the values that the Obama administration bar bought to the highly uh, brought to the highly uh, politicized Justice Department. They've heard them for eight years. Uh, what can we see happen? I mean, I look at the judges that aren't in place. I look at all of the top uh, jobs in the Justice Department that haven't been filled, the confirmations that haven't haven't come. And I ask, right. hey, we're just burning daylight here, partner. What are we going to do? Well, the White House, frankly, needs to flood the zone. <laughs> they, they need to send as many people over to the Senate. Uh, they need to uh, make appointments throughout the executive branch of all the appointments that don't need Senate confirmation. And they need to get as many people in there as they can. Look, right now, Jeff Sessions is handicapped because he's only got a very small number of people with which to run at one of the largest My federal Lord, if agencies. If the man yells, he's got to hear nothing but an echo. The empty spaces around yeah. him as he sits at the pinnacle of one of the most powerful departments in government. It's true. And unfortunately, a large majority of the career uh, civil service lawyers inside the department, particularly inside the Civil Rights Division, that's the division that does these law enforcement investigations, uh, they are actively uh, going to try to thwart whatever uh, uh, General Sessions wants done and, and, and what the president uh, uh, wants done and what his priorities are. And that's a tough job and that's a tough fight uh, for the attorney general to well, wage. Well, one of the fights is sanctuary cities. Uh, yeah. The attorney general saying that he's looking at a number of ways besides uh, simply pulling back funding for law enforcement activities in the part of cities. Uh, if they're sanctuary cities, uh, are there other more effective things that he could do uh, that would uh, be appropriate and proportionate uh, and effective against sanctuary cities? Well, there is one other thing that, that he could do that is reminiscent of the civil rights era. Um, certain sanctuary policies violate federal immigration law. And in the same way that uh, so small southern towns during the segregationist period uh, would refuse to comply with federal anti-discrimination laws, uh, it is possible for the Justice Department to file civil lawsuits against cities with sanctuary policies that violate federal immigration law and get orders yeah. from federal judges Here's what I'm, to, I'm to worried get rid about, of those Hans, policies. To be very candid with you, I think the Republicans have got a lot of smart people. I think the Trump administration is putting smart people in every one of the departments. But I'm worrying about how tough and how street smart uh, the folks are that are being put in there to contend with these uh, left-wing activists that have made uh, government uh, employment uh, a lifelong uh, uh, career. Uh, we've got to do a lot more with greater energy and, sure, a hell of a lot more street smarts. Uh, this is a brawl and a battle in the streets, and it, uh, the Republicans are acting like, uh, you know, they might have another uh, hit of snuff and uh, talk it over <laughs> for another week. Uh, I'm just kidding about the latter part of it. I know they don't do stuff.